Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiffany, and this is your first time clicking on my videos or seeing my face. Welcome. Today's video is going to be me recreating one of my makeup looks. I have been wanting to do this video for a while, but then I saw Leslie Marie 1213, and then I saw somebody else do it, and I can't remember who it was, but it was somebody else. I put their names on the screen maybe or down in the description box. I don't know so you guys can watch their videos but now I saw them and I was like I'm definitely doing that now. That's definitely a banger of a video and like it's good. I'm glad I did because how I do my makeup then and how I do my makeup now is way different. I've learned my face shape. I've learned what my skin likes. I learned what it dislikes. I learned how to color match myself. I learned how to blend a little bit better. I mean I've always kind of been okay with the blends but I'm kind of that check now okay but I'm gonna put the look up here that I'm actually recreating the picture right up here it's a little snippet you guys can see you know she's came very far she has evolved she has done better so good for her um <laughs> But if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe button before we jump into the video and just give this video a thumbs up because I know for sure you're going to like it. I already know you're going to like it. So just give this video a thumbs up. And without further ado, if you want to see me recreate my own makeup look from two years ago, then just stay tuned. Let me start with my eyes. So I am going to zoom you guys in, but I did just want to show you guys the palette. I'm going to be using the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. Now, y'all already know this is one of my favorite palettes I have ever in my life bought. Okay. She's so cute. She's been with me for a long time. at the freaking material here okay look at it okay so this is the palette we're gonna be using today i just wanted to show you guys that prior to jumping into the actual look let me pull it up on my phone so i have it for reference so i know what i'm doing okay okay so i already did prime my eyes as you guys can see they're already muted out with my born this way multi-use sculpting concealer okay and i normally use that so that's like really nothing new so from looking at the picture all right pink is my transition shade on the picture i might change that up a little bit but i am going to place the pink first and i'm going to take this sigma e40 blending brush So I didn't have another transition shade between my eyebrow and my lid color, my lid color, my transition color. So I'm going to take the yellow in the palette. These don't have names on them. Yeah, I know that. These don't have names on them, but I'm going to take the yellow and use that to buff out around the edges. My brows look so different today, don't they, guys? I literally, that's my, I'll do an updated video on them, but I'm kind of digging how they're looking right now. So, okay, let me open the picture back up. My crease color was the purple in the palette, so I'm gonna take a smaller brush to blend that in my crease. Let me get a smaller brush. I'm pressing this in. I'm going to swipe it into the crease, but I'm right putting it on my outer view right now. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer. Should I take concealer or should I take shadow primer? I'll take concealer. I'm gonna wipe off. I'm 
I'm gonna take a, a little flat like packer brush situation. This is a Morphe M166. I'm gonna pat this onto my lid. And the original look, I didn't take the shadow above like into my crease. I just like left it on my lid. And as you guys can tell, I have a little eyelid. So I'm gonna take it above my eyelid this time. And then I'm gonna take the other side of the brush and pack the yellow onto my lid. So I'm going to jump into my face now and then pop on some lashes. These are the IMV lashes. You know what? I'm not really sure which ones they are because I don't have like the thing that came on it. But they're from IMV. So super affordable. I'm pretty sure I got them from Ulta or Walgreens. I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to take my, what is this? Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation in 70 Warm Yellow. I haven't used this in a while, but I love this foundation. So, I'm going to take one full pump of that. Oh, I did go ahead and prime my face before I did my eyes and stuff. Um, the only thing I touched up was my serum and stuff right up under my eye. Okay, I'm going to concealer now. So I use butterscotch for like to clean up my brows and up under my eye. So I am going to use butterscotch, but I'm also going to use Fenty in 410. This is a little bit darker than butterscotch. You can't really tell, but I promise it is. Okay, now I'm going to take the butterscotch and I'm just going to put the butterscotch directly under my eye and then down the bridge of my nose. And actually I'm going to put some down here too. Yes. Did I see him? Yes. What about him? Aiden. No. Are you recording right now? I am. What's he doing? Can, can you go look at him after you finish? I uh I can I can come right now. Okay, I'm gonna blend out my contour because I forgot all about contour with this NYX. This is the brush that came with the total control drop foundation. Well, it didn't come with it, but they released this brush when they released the Total Control Drop Foundation. And I got it because I'm a sucker. And they release things for people like me. Like that. Okay. So, I purchased the brush. It's been holding me down since that foundation came out. And I'm pretty sure that was in 2016. Two powders. I'm going to use the... I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder and Banana Bread. And I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way Powder in Medium. Translucent Medium. Okay, so I'm going to make sure this is all. Everything is everything. Because you don't want no problems. You don't want no problems. And I'm first. My under eye creases are very aggressive. I'm going to take the Huda Beauty powder, tap 
on the back of my hand. That looks really good. I'm gonna take the rest that's on the back of my hand and set. everywhere I highlighted my son is wild bro okay then I'm gonna double that I'm gonna take the translucent medium I'm not gonna tap off the excess and I'm gonna cut my cheeks And go over down here, up here, then on my nose, I'm going to take my matchstick, which is also what I have on. My cheeks and stuff for contour i'm gonna take this brush it's actually like a nose contour brush i'm pretty sure it's for powder but i'm gonna take this brush because she wants a little snatch action okay and i did not set my nose yet that is important It really is just a snatched of it all. It really is. I'm gonna go over the sides of my nose with that translucent medium powder. And I'm not actually gonna set this with a contour powder. Just this. Don't want a contour, don't want a bronze. Cause this is like my contour powder. I'm going to bronze. So I'm going to take this Morphe bronzer and liter. It's the Glamour Bronze. Okay, she's looking real powdery, but it's fine. I'm going to line my under eye with this Urban Decay 24-7 glide on pencil in vice. That looks so deep. Should I put purple down there? I think I'll put purple and orange. So I'm gonna go in with that purple shade. And I'm going to pack this right under that liner. So stamp, don't sweep. That looks so freaking good. Okay, and then I'm gonna go with the pink. Yeah, I'm doing a bit much down here. Cause I kinda want this. To be kind of bold i don't want it to be like just a liner and just a shade on top of the liner i want it to like look like its own person that looks incredible to me that looks phenomenal that looks top tier and then the last color i'm gonna go in with i swear is the orange and i'm just gonna buff that right at the bottom of the pink it did it then did it for me 
it really did it really freaking did and then on my cheeks i'm gonna go into this orange actually i'm gonna mix this orange and this pink for blush i oh, know let's not get crazy let's do it on my favorite blush brush camera is being a dick right now and not trying to focus when I need to focus but I did go ahead and set my face off camera and I'm just taking my highlighter now this is the artist couture purple dream highlighter I really felt like this was set it off and I feel like it is so this is the finished look and you guys basically saw before I got off camera I just literally put some lip gloss on this looks so freaking good. I'm so glad I decided the highlighter that I did. Artist Couture little diamond glow powders are really that chick. They are that chick. And I only have two of them, but I think I need to get more. Because they're good. They are really good. You spray them. They like melt down into your skin. They're not just sitting there looking crazy. I'm obsessed. Do you have battery bagging up the truck while I'm trying to record? Or like what? I digress, but I am obsessed with how this came out. So if you guys like and didn't already give this video a thumbs up, make sure you do that before you head on out. And also hit that subscribe button before you go. And like I always tell you guys, I'm your girl Tiffany. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.